Hello, folks. Kyle from WS Tyler here, and I am sitting back down with Terry Morris, our architectural product manager. Terry, how are you doing today? Hey, Kyle. I'm doing pretty well. Good to see you. How are you? Good to see you as well. I'm, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Thank you so much for asking. Uh, I have a question for you. When it comes to architectural mesh, can you explain to us what the installation process looks like? Absolutely. That's a good question, Kyle. So I assume we're talking about uh, a facade project using our yes. standard tension system with the clevis hardware and the springs um, to tighten that panel down. Um, so the installation, we actually, WS Tyler, we do not provide installation, but we do have recommended install, install companies that we can, uh, that we can provide you. Um, the first, but, but the good thing about us is the first couple of days of installation, my coworker Ryan and I were going to be there helping the install crew get the first couple panels up. So the mesh itself is going to arrive in rolls, um, pre-assembled with those flat tension profiles, um, top and bottom. Uh, the hardware itself, the clevis hardware, um, will be pre-assembled on site. So we'll make sure Ryan and I will make sure that you uh, set those up the right way. I think my cat's in the background here, but uh, <laughs> but. Uh, once that clevis hardware is pre-assembled, um, we're gonna have a crane or a cherry picker to lift that up in a, in, in a cradle that we'll provide. It'll lift, we'll lift up the, the first panel to the top of the facade. There's gonna be a crew of, typically we'll see three to five people. Um, so two people at the top, two people at the bottom of the facade, and one person usually with a rope guiding the panel so that, that it doesn't wave around in the wind. So. Once we lift that first panel up to the top, um, the, two, the two folks at the top are gonna to be ready to receive that. They're gonna bolt it down at the top. We're gonna to slowly lower the crane or cherry picker. The mesh is actually gonna self unroll in that cradle. And then once they get to the bottom, um, we'll make sure we have the shop drawing there so that once, once the folks at the bottom receive the mesh, they're gonna bolt it down and they're gonna have that dimension of the spring that, the, that they need to tighten it to. And then assuming if they're taller panels um, that use intermediate tubes, because as you, as you probably know, every eight to 12 feet in elevation, we need an intermediate tube, which spans the width of the panel. Mm -hmm. um, if, if a panel is usually over that height, say we're talking 20 foot panels, uh, that intermediate tube is actually gonna be um, installed before the panel. So typically we'll see all those intermediate tubes up on the facade first. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, thank you for clarifying that. I, yeah. I do appreciate that. And uh, I'll see you soon. Okay. Absolutely. Thanks, Kyle. Have a good day. You too.